Yeah, when he answered, we'll see. First, you have to show up. I apparently said something very entertaining before we got on. As always. <laughs> so, yo, I like this color scheme. Right? I know, yo, right? This, this uh, pink and turk is, is fire. I like it. Nice. Yay. So, hey, everybody. It's what Monica. Up, what up? What up? Director of Communications <clears throat> and Special Projects, and you are. Reverend Lewis, aka D Dub. <laughs> And here we are with this week at the Paul. And do y'all guys notice we did a little something different today? If you notice what we did differently, I was gonna put say, it in the comments. You put it in the comments, right? Exactly. So, um, just hi, Patricia. Hey, Patricia. Thanks for joining What's us up, today. Family? If you're here, drop it in the comments too. Just say hey. Let us know that we're just not talking into the air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, today's June. June fourth. Today's June 4th, because we're looking at um, announcements for tomorrow. Right. So I just want to be <laughs> I just saw that too. I was like, huh? clear on the day. Um, so we got a busy month because yes, it's, uh, it's men's month here at St. Paul. Mm -hmm. And not even just that, but there are other tons of other things going on. But um, hi. Namaste, Jasmine. Namaste. Oh, namaste, Jasmine. Thanks for joining us. So, um, yeah, it's men's month. And it's called a call to unity. That's the theme for the month. So meaning that it's not all the events that we talk about are open to everyone. They're co-ed. It's not just about men. So that's a, a new twist in a sense that they've done. So shout out to the uh, Warrior Council yep. for taking that um, direction this year. And um, the scripture is Psalm 133.1. So, oh, hey. Hey, Rakesha. <laughs> so look up Psalm 133 one. Somebody posted in the comments what the actual wording is right. for us as well. What um is so the scripture. Yes. <laughs> so the first event is uh tomorrow night, actually. Well the yep. first first I guess was really Sunday because yeah, they kicked like off. The launch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh the men uh men's choir sang and there's mm -hmm. still opportunity to join the men's choir if you want to for the month, men. So that's all that's men. So sisters don't try to run up in the men's choir. But right. um if you want to you can just sign up in the Kingdom Connection office with um Cherub Ruth. Uh what do you what do you call her? Psalmist? The Psalmist <laughs> You could sign up in yes. Kingdom Connection uh, Brothers to participate in the um, men's choir. And then also the men danced, right? Yeah, they As did. Well? They're actually dancing all month. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. okay. So that, has, that was on Sunday. But tomorrow is the main, like, is the first, first event, yes. real event um, that's outside of a Sunday. And that is going to be the uh, Congregational Care is presenting... It's called At the Table. So if y'all been watching Red Table here with Jada Pinkett Smith and her mother and her daughter, right. it's uh, in line with that. And it's called At the Table, Stigma and Shame. And it's going to be facilitated by Reverend Dr. Michael Elam, who is uh, our servant leader over the Wounded Healers Ministry, which we talked about a lot here on This Week at the Paul. And also Minister Carla oh, Gittins, who is the servant leader over Congregational Care Ministry in general, which Wounded Healers falls under. So mm -hmm. right now... We're going to try a little special guest action. Right. This is Let's our first see. time doing this. Right. So, y'all hold, hold, hold yourselves. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it together. Right. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Eek. Yeah. Where is it? I just saw it. There. That's it. Uh, okay. That's what I thought. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Well, did you do it? Well... Mike, make a request. Does he got to make a request? Or yeah, can he, we... ha he has to make the request. Are you sure? Yeah, see, I had to turn it on. Oh, oh God. I don't yeah, know if he's going to know how yeah. to do that. Michael, make a request to get on with us. <laughs> 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 Michael, do you know how to do that? Oh, Patricia got it right. Yes. What? Uh, you're there right, you Patricia. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for paying attention. Michael, make a request to join with us. Right. Because <laughs> that's the only way it can happen. I didn't know that when I was texting you earlier. Sorry. He said, wait. He said, wait. <laughs> On the bottom, you should, should see right. like a little person and like a little box. Maybe. Maybe. I hope that's what uh, it is. Uh, uh oh. Oh, no. Why? Let me see. 
Uh oh. We're gonna see if we can do it. Okay, so while we're trying to get our <laughs> guest on and figure this out, <laughs> we didn't think this through. <laughs> we didn't think this through, but that's okay. We're gonna continue on with the announcements. Michael, hold on because Reverend Lewis is off camera, as you see, trying to figure this out. <clears throat> I'll check. <laughs> so the next um, announcement would have been, or will is, um, sisters. Jewel Ministry, Women's Jewel Ministry. Y'all see, I got on my black again. Yay for the diamonds. Oh, and I'm representing a little pearls today with my pink on. But um, this is, I know last week I missed the two scholarships. I know this. This is going to be one of the scholarships <laughs> that I have. It's going to be the only one because I didn't get the other one. So now I'm three behind and that's a mess. Um, Tell them to press the green circle. It's a green circle. Michael, press the green circle, Reverend Lewis says. <laughs> it's a green circle on the bottom. Beside the comments. Beside the comments. Um, so, sisters, the Jewel Women's Ministry has their uh, Queen Mother Murder Sprint Scholarship, and it's available now. So, get your... Uh, application. It's called the Murtis, Mother Murtis Brent Shewell Scholarship and it is available now in the Women's Jewel Ministry and it is for uh, like for tuition or books or something like that and it's sponsored by the Council of Wise Jewels. That's what my that's me. No. Okay. Mike has to do it. I'm trying. To do it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry with our technical issues over here, but we're trying. Michael, did you press the little green button? <laughs> Next to comments. How about we show him? Just bring my phone up here. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh, yeah, he has to do yeah, it. Yeah, he has to press it. Once he press it, we'll, we'll, mm. we'll get him. Okay, Michael, look here. That button there. He says there's no green circle. Then how does Monica have it and you don't? <laughs> oh, this sucks. Is he on his phone? Michael, are you on your phone or are you on a computer watching us? If he's on a computer, that could be one. Yeah, if it's on the computer, on the it might phone. be different. But yeah. Jules, yeah, uh, set run and, and get your uh, Mother Brent scholarship application because, um, hey, we always say it. Any money is good enough money or more money than you had to offset the cost of college. So... Uh, definitely stop by and get the application. And if I'm not mistaken, that is yes, it's women and girls. So sorry, brothers. Yeah, he just said not on his phone. Ah, That's why, yeah. you okay. Your phone, Mike. All right, so Reverend Lewis is gonna keep going, and I'm gonna go right. on my computer and see if I can figure out right. how Michael can get on. You want to take your phone? No. Okay. It's me, y'all. Y'all stuck with me. <laughs> okay, Michael, what you did the women? Man, good thing we ain't on no news station. We will be team raggedy. All right. So, um, in addition to the women, now we have an announcement from the My Alpha Ministry. So, men and women, for those who are at least 70 years or older and like to become a part of the My Alpha Village Elders, please hop in the Kingdom Connection office for our 2019 induction ceremony. And for those who are even interested and my alpha, as we know, the 25th commemoration is coming up in September. So for those who would like to be a part and who would like to join, I think it's going to be lit. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be dope. And I think they're going to go hard. So if you would like to participate in my alpha this year, um, the invitation is open. And it will start on Friday, June 21st at 6.30 p.m. And Saturday, June 22nd at 10 o'clock a.m. So dress comfortably and day worn. Be prepared to work, meaning it's going to go down. So again, for those who are interested in participating in the Ma Alpha commemoration on Friday, June 21st at 6.30 p.m. and Saturday, June 22nd at 10 o'clock a.m. Also, I think what we forgot to announce too, coming up this Sunday and specifically for Men's Month, in, the, in addition to tomorrow um with um at the table starting on sunday june 9th it will be uh, the chinusu bakari rites of passion ceremony will be going on at 11 o'clock a.m worship service in addition to that i want to make known that there will not be any little dreamers 
um, children ministry on this upcoming Sunday due to the CB rites of passage. Um, the teachers' um, sons are actually participating, so they will actually be in the sanctuary to celebrate their sons. So that will be happening again on this upcoming Sunday for the 11 o'clock a.m. service. And in addition to that, that evening, the Wakanda dinner will be happening from 4 to 8 p.m. I think you get tickets, if I'm not mistaken, from the fiscal. Don't cite me on that, but um, I believe that you can. Um, not from us, but I believe um, CB volunteers um, were in the office taking up payments for tickets who would like to be at the Wakanda dinner. So that's, again, happening on this upcoming Sunday. What else we have? Oh, for the daytime ministry. I love daytime ministry. I just want to say, daytime ministry is so fun. Um, for me, it's just like literally chilling with history and living color. Um, I love going to daytime. I love preaching in the daytime. Actually, that's what I was doing. Before I came here, I was preparing my sermon for tomorrow <laughs> that I had to do um, for Noonday Watch. But um, back in 1994, St. Paul um, started what has become a robust and dedicated ministry to retirees, those who work in the evenings, and senior saints, the daytime ministry. <laughs> Did you just push me all the way up? Well, I mean, you wasn't trying to move, so... You just, you just really interrupted our time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 we feel some type of way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were talking about the daytime ministry. 25 years of daytime ministry. That's a long time. Yo, that is. Gosh, that's almost your age. Hold on, pause. I, I'm not trying to say anything shady. Pause. Is it not? Am I not right? That, that was lots of shade. It wasn't meant to be, seriously. That was a lot of shade. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. Mara, get, get, your, get your people. Get, it wasn't get, meant to be shady. Get your people. Okay. Anyway, 25 years of That's daytime That's actually ministry. as long as my offer. That's true. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Two big things started in the same year. Reverend yeah. Youngin. Okay, Mara, you can get off too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yes, daytime ministry uh, celebration on Wednesday, June 19th. So you know Zayda Yes, Shane. yes, Not Mike. Thank you. Michael. See, everybody, everybody Michael, where understand are you? What side are you? If Monica just threw shade Brad. at my age, please type below shade. I need my fraternity brother to get himself together. No, not your, fratern jump on. no your fraternity brother know the truth. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, Wednesday, June 19th. Uh, you know they're going to be doing it big. I don't know what Elder Chamble and the daytime ministry team have in store, but I know... You know, in the past, we've always had, like, the big tent outside mm -hmm. and barbecue. And Queen even said it was shade. Oh, boy. Um, barbecue and music and a whole bunch of stuff. So that's what's happening on June. I don't know if that's what's happening on June 19th. I don't want to say that, but I'm sure it has to be at least that and probably more because it is 25 years. So if you're available, come on out. And it's really a nice day. Um, it is. It really, really is a, a lot of fun. So come on out, support the daytime ministry. And come on, Jasmine. I mean, what's happening? Thank you. The people agree. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> anyway. My Bible said you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Okay. Be well, free. that's... be Okay. Be free. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but I had to step off because we are troubleshooting, and what we should have done... <laughs> Was told Michael, Michael, can you get on your phone? Right. Let us know that. Can you get on your phone and watch this? Because if you can, that will save the day. Because otherwise, we can't do right. we what stop. we're trying to do, unfortunately. So, Michael, let us know in the comments. Can you get on the phone and watch? Even for a few Ma minutes. Mara, nobody asked you. No, nobody asked you. Absolutely asked. not. Thank you. Nobody asked you, ex. Thank you. No, no, Thank nobody. you. That's what we need to call up. We need to call Mara up. Michael, are you having no problem with the view? Myra, you're watching on your phone? Okay. He tri you tried getting on your phone? Okay. Get on your phone, and then you should be able to press the green little circle if you're Even watching Patricia live. Patricia says shade. Come on. The majority has spoken. Myra's in the minority. Well, as long as my Sora got me, that's all that matters. Of course she has you. That's I mean, bias. I needed my frat brother to get himself together, but I don't know what happened there. But anyway. Oh, Mara wants to oh, get on. Oh, well, glory to God. Speak, Mara. Mm-hmm.
We're gonna have a special guest in tech today. Yep. I hope she doesn't say, oh no, I she don't wasn't know. Now it. She's not gonna even come on. Can't watch live. Okay, Michael. Well dang, Mike. I'm gonna well. Um uh, Hello. So, Michael, I'm not sure what's going on with you. Press the button. Oh, you want to go? My alpha is the place to be. Queen Mother. Hello. Queen Mother is here. Everybody's there. Okay. Fisco got it going on. We holding things down. Yes, you're alive. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do for our ministry. And thank you for jumping on to help us be our first guest. Thank you. Nice. That's true. Press the green button, Mike. Okay. Okay. Now y'all. Okay. Now y'all. You can get off all of that. Y'all can't do it right now. Y'all. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's that last one? trying to do unfortunately right. um tomorrow's workshop on stigma and shame um it's going to replace bible study that's first it starts at 6 30 and um i mean reverend lewis and i are very excited about this the second mm -hmm. we came up with this well second mm -hmm. michael actually right and carla, carla. started talking mm -hmm. about this my uh reverend lewis and i were super excited about it because listen we talk about this in grief share too is that people are like just as it relates to grief people are like like bound up like with a straight jacket i just said that to someone in grief share this past weekend um someone who actually hadn't planned on coming yeah go ahead and type, just Mike. showed up mm -hmm. um and and they really enjoyed it they came for another reason to speak to carla about something completely different and then they ended up staying um so People are walking around bound up. Watch the comments now because um, Dr. Elam is taught typing about what um, tomorrow is going to be. You. But mm. it's the same with stigma and shame. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're walking around. So many people, everybody, I would venture to say, is walking around hiding something, is scared, is, is embarrassed about something, is um, ashamed of something. And they're just not they're not talking about it because of those reasons being embarrassed or hiding or whatever and because of that they're just so they're they're ashamed and they're walking around again with a straight jacket mm -hmm. on and they're not allowing themselves to be their best selves because of this thing that's this this weight that's walking around on their back um we, we cannot, cannot allow our wounds to keep us silent really i mean when you mm -hmm. When you allow those things, when you allow yourself to let those things go, I'm telling you, you will absolutely start to vibrate higher mm -hmm. in your life. I mean, am I right? Facts. I mean, you, it, if you have money problems, money, you, ban you went bankrupt, you, you, you filed for bankruptcy and it's embarrassing to you. I mean, if you opened up your mouth and said something about it just to let that out, or to and let somebody else know that'll maybe help somebody else and you might you would find out bankruptcy is a thing like that's why people do it you're not the only person look at all these and people who got money who filed for bankruptcy to save themselves so and Listen, he, I, mean, I know my biggest thing is student loans and they're <laughs> mad well i mean i'm just saying they're mad people who literally have shame um actually i just well you know what i'm working on but yeah i'm, I'm <laughs> working on a blog about this but mm. basically like how especially as African Americans, I think a lot of times we won't never, we will never admit it, especially as millennials, I feel, we will never admit the shame that we feel, or the, at least sometimes even the guilt that we feel, right? Mm -hmm. um, having all this student loan debt, when in actuality, um, kind of like a podcast I was listening to this morning, where for most of us, it wasn't about like, do I take on this debt or not? It was really a matter of like, do I advance in life or not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> where mm -hmm. for most of us having mm -hmm. a degree was really a matter of like, how do I help my family move to a next um, level in mm -hmm. life, whereas probably my family never have been, but also taking consideration that I got to take on all this debt in the process. But most of the time, that doesn't even happen until afterwards. 
um, when you graduate mm -hmm. and accomplish this big thing for your family generation wise and then you realize oh shoot now i'm stuck with all this debt and mm -hmm. how do i pay it off mm -hmm. and sometimes the guilt after that when you know like you really did it for something good mm -hmm. but now you're stuck with it and now you're trying to wrestle with this narrative of yeah although i changed the path for my family i'm now like kind of sucking the blows of life because of this debt that incurred and there's a lot of guilt i know i struggled with that for, for a while until really this year where i kind of chose and decided like you said take that power back and mm -hmm. name my narrative and say, you know what, like, we're going to try to um, flip this. In the right. words of Biggie, turn the negative to a positive. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. What does he say? Not living your full life is what? Antith antithetical to the ministry of, of Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Well, then. Hello. I mean. I do agree, though. I do agree with Mike on that. I mean, like, that's, I think if anything, if we're going to say, like, growing the power of the resurrected Christ, mm -hmm. I think when you really think about resurrection mm -hmm. it's not the absent of the wounds it's the fact that jesus rose above them oh so it's like bibles it's like a little bible study right now <laughs> I mean, Come on, Dr. Mike. Bible study right Dr. Mike. Yeah, Mike talk. yeah okay i mean we have the, we, what... we have the pre-table before the table <laughs> a pre-table <laughs> right and that's what tomorrow is going to be about like just like talking those things no you don't want to run around and tell your business to everybody right but Agreed. i mean and nobody's saying come tomorrow and like be like screaming your business unless Agreed. you want to right because right. guess what it'll probably be freeing not i know it'll be freeing to you yourself but it'll also probably be freeing to other people for whatever it is that they're holding on to and say wow she said that or he said that here in this forum mm -hmm. well what can i say what can i share what can i really let go of so i can just stop feeling like i'm walking listen as black people, we are already walking around with a whole lot of weight on us, just Facts. from the color of our skin. There's no reason to walk around with these other issues and things that are, number one, probably not that big of a deal to be ashamed about and embarrassed about. Mm -hmm. And number two, that are things that can, if we're honest about them and can talk about them, can we can become healed from them, from feeling a certain way about them. So... I mean, listen, we are also going to focus on men's health with Reverend Henderson Innocent. as well. Yes, because it's men's, men's, men's month. month. So, mm -hmm. I mean, look, I know plenty of men who don't want to be going to the doctor. Um, Dr. Mike, do you want to go live tomorrow? On your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you are so shady today. <laughs> What has got into you today? You are, you are so shady. So, yeah, that's tomorrow. Uh, Mike, let us know. Um, you know, text me or whatever. Let me know if you can go live tomorrow at some point. Um, actually live so we can try to get you to talk. I mean, because typing is great, but I think if people can also hear your voice, it will also be helpful as well. Maybe we um, can do at the table live tomorrow. Someone asked that. You know, oh, okay. um, last know week. Oh, God, what's the guy's name with the, with the family, with the cute little family, with the locks? Oh, uh, Andre. Yep, he uh -huh. asked that last week if we could. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that might be cool. Okay. Just so people can get an idea. Okay. So it's something we were talking about. Um, okay. So that's happening tomorrow with Men's Month. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Go to the website, spcbc.com slash calendar, and check out all the events for Men's Month. Um, and come on out, because like we said earlier, it's co-ed. Most of the events, mm -hmm. all of the events are, are co-ed. Um, Right? Lisa Jones said, yes, yeah. go live. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all of them are co-ed. So, I mean, the men have really done a great job in pulling stuff together this month. So we hope you take advantage of them. Um, and then the next announcement is thank you, Michael, for what you typed um, and shared. And hopefully you can um, text me and let me know if you can um, join us live tomorrow from your phone. That way we'll be able to figure this out. Um, oh, but wait, you're coming tonight, right? Maybe we can record. You, well, we'll talk oh, yeah, about that. Oh, yeah, is the night. That's right. Yeah, so maybe yeah. we can catch you and, like, do a recording for something for uh -huh. tomorrow, maybe. So just let me know. Um, so we're moving on, folks. <laughs> Thank you for engaging with us <laughs> through all of that um, and, and all of our technical difficulties and all of the chicanery, as usual. Uh, but the next announcement is also a big one. Pastor came on. He's been He's come on a couple times to talk about mm -hmm. this. He uh, also talked about it. He's been talking about it from the pulpit. But listen, June 12th. You already know what it is. June 12th, 6 o'clock, Gracie Mansion. All right, Michael. Um, <laughs> this affordable housing thing, even if you're not living in NYCHA, even if you're not a senior, you know it's expensive to live in New York. 
the end. And just because you're not living in those environments or in those places, what affects people will ultimately tick to probably in some way, shape, or form affect you. So if you know that you're out here struggling because the rent is high or your mortgage or whatever, you are being affected by not having been able to have affordable housing. So come on out on June 12th, 6 o'clock, Gracie Mansion. If you need transportation here and here from here and to the location, uh, you can get that. Give Trina a call on 718-257-1300 um, extension 127 because we will have transportation from to and from the church to Gracie Mansion. Um, but if you work in the city, just get on over there. If you know anything about EBC, Metro IAF, you know they don't play with time, so you're not going to be out there all night. And sure <laughs> and um, this is about look. We said it the other week. The my bum that my Montgomery bus boycott was started by we know who and by church folks, mm -hmm. and they stuck true and stitch stood true to their uh, mission and vision. And even though it took some time, we probably wouldn't be riding the bus today if they didn't do that. So for all y'all that are out there jumping on public transportation, could you imagine not having it and the work that they did to, so we could be able to ride on the bus? Or, you know, I mean, are you going to speak? June 12th. <laughs> <laughs> because we've been talking about it. So it's like, it's like there's no really, I get you. There's not a whole lot of reason to belabor and Yo. beat the dead horse. June 12th, yeah. 6 o'clock. Be there. The end. That's that's the area. There's, there's nothing more to say. Well, all right. We know the fight. We know what what it is we're trying to accomplish. And like you said, I mean, if you live in New York, you you should know the crisis. <laughs> like you're living it day in and day out. So I mean, like, I will probably argue most of our watch are impacted. Mm -hmm. So why not fight for yourself? Right. Right. That's, that's the way I see it. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. And the final announcement is, she just jumped on. Right. Uh, <laughs> as they were trying to help us figure out all our tech stuff but if you've been in the building or if you've seen uh down here on or on our social instagram here on facebook y'all asked for this y'all did so we finally were able to get we it together you. and get it done go on over to our youtube page spcbc bkny 1927 and tomorrow at 7 15 a.m and queen mother will be over there qt with queen mother. have a little qt a little quiet time, quiet time with queen mother not quality time right quiet time with queen mother <laughs> which means if you're around the cell put your headphones on yeah listen mm -hmm. and i'm sure it will bless your day to get you going for sure for sure so that's it thank you so much for joining us today you give them your scholarship i gave them i said that one. Oh, from the top? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's the one I got. For well then. Yes. <laughs> Are y'all applying for these scholarships? <laughs> I hope so. It makes me sad. I don't know. <laughs> it would be great if somebody just like let us know like when you apply and Right. Because <laughs> There's money on the table. We and school's expensive. Reverend Lewis just got finished saying, you don't want to be coming out of school with a whole bunch of debt when you don't have to. Unless you got a Robert Smith that you know, then... Man, listen, I am still so inspired by that. I am so inspired yeah, by that's that. that's gold. That's gold. I really, I really do want to do that. That is that. so awesome. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. So, that's that. Uh, if we see you around here on campus, excelente, uh, the next few days. If not, we will see you on Sunday, yep. 6, 8, and 11. And don't forget, we started our new series this month. Oh, right. <clears throat> Joseph from the Pit to the Palace. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, the, if you haven't seen the sermon promo, it's posted below somewhere mm -hmm. on the page. So check it out. And I think we need to go eat our, well, I'm going to go eat my pie. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. Y'all know that. I I'll probably, I'll probably won't eat it, too. Tonight. I this or is in the morning after there I is this out. place that Reverend Lewis loves. And um It's I, your fault. Yeah, I introduced him to it as out um, right. oh, by listen, where I you, live. Don't you throw me out and here. um <laughs> I surprised him today and brought him a little something from there. So I'm gonna go eat mine, he'll eat his later, and uh yeah, that's that. So thank you again. Have a great remainder of your day and or remainder of your week. Yep, till next time. Peace.